Hi guys, how you doing? Mr. Appot 21 here. Today I'm going to show you how to get Multiflow, which is a jailbroken paid for app for free and how to use it. It basically gives your iPhone or iPod Touch a layout of a Palm Pre, which shows you multiple applications running at once in the background, kind of like this. Alright, I'm going to show you all how to do that. First, you got to go into, let me just open up my handy dandy Cydia here through the app. I'm going to go to the sources. And you're going to go to edit ad and you're going to add this source. BeYourIPhone.com. It's repo.beyouriphone.com. It's one of the greatest sources a person can enter in Cydia. I want to thank the guys for making that source. Because there's a lot of paid for jailbroken apps that are free in this source. So, repo.beyouriphone.com. Make sure you add that. And once that's done, you just go to search and you simply just search Multiflow or just multi as I searched. Um, Multiflow, there's a blue highlighter one from ModMy and it has a little wrench and screwdriver on it. And then the other one is Multiflow, it says free version from BeYourIPhone.com. Click on that one and install it. Once you install it, it's going to ask you to restart your springboard. You're going to go to it and you'll see two new icons. This one, little backgrounder, um, it's just the little loady swirly thingy, and the multi-flow, which has three rectangular things on it. Alright, multi-flow press, doesn't really matter, um, except for open with. Open with, this is how you open up multi-flow. You can double tap the home button, which is the default, slash the one I already have on, um, just single tap it and whatnot, you can change that. Oops. And then, um, if I go back, blacklisted, these are the applications you do not want to open with Multiflow ever. So let's say, for example, I never want to open, you know, voice memos in a Multiflow. So when I double tap it, I never see it when I open it. Um, that's what you do. Alright, so to want to see the apps in um, Multiflow, you gotta go to Backgrounder. Backgrounder, you go to Application Specific, and you go to Always Enabled. These are the apps you will check that you want to see in the Multiflow. The ones that you won't check um, won't be in there basically at all. Alright, so as you see, um, I'm gonna check. I'll check a new one. For, I'll check YouTube. Alright. So if I go back now, I go back, I go back, um, there is one uh, disadvantage to this. Every time you respring, like let's say for example you had applications open on Multiflow. Like I had Cydia open there and in the background for YouTube reasons. Um, once you respring it, all those will stop running and you'll have to reopen them again. So. Uh, I had Cydia open earlier, just simply through, um, Multiflow, but now it's not in there. Alright, so as you see now, there's just a black screen, or a dim black screen. Why is that? After I double press the home button. You first have to fully open the applications that you have checked on, um, Multiflow. So, for example, I just checked YouTube, right? But it's not in there. Like, it's not all multi-flow. Alright, I'm going to show you all how to put... It's pretty simple, actually. All you got to do is just open up the application. And once it's pretty much fully loaded, right? You just you just leave the application whenever you want to. And as you see, there's a little swirly thing on there. Now, you might not see a swirly thing on yours. is because I have it as a sitting in a backgrounder. So now when I double tap it, I see YouTube now. Pretty cool. Um... So, you know, I open up the App Store, I had that check too, I wait for that to load, or I can wait for it, like, as soon as, until it's almost loaded, just simply press the home button once, as you see now that is in running in backgrounder, and now I see it in there. And so once I click on it, it's just back where I originally was it. This is really good actually for Insidia, because Insidia, Every time you close out City, you have to load the data, it downloads the release, and it reloads the data, new packages, and all that. 
that takes a good five minutes. If you just simply leave it in Cydia in the background, and I just go here, and I double click on it, I can simply just go to our, go to where I am on Cydia. It's really awesome, guys. And if I click on one of these apps, and then I go here, I can just simply go back to the home page or go back to wherever I was. You know, it's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is how to get Multiflow for free and how to use it correctly. This one does take a while to get because I actually thought uh, it's a blacklisted was the ones you wanted as the ones in the background of Multiflow. So yeah, blacklisted are the ones that you never want to open up in Multiflow. Always enabled as the ones that when you open it, it shows up in Multiflow once you leave it. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Please rate 5 stars, comment, subscribe. Um, make sure you're up to date um, so I can have um, having more giveaways coming soon. And message me if I need anything to improve on. Thanks guys.